everyone it's Joanne for Shimmers Paints how are you today I am going to be working with the August paper and color kits they're very summery tropical themed and they're absolutely beautiful I mean look at these colors I did this ahead of time save some time I backed it with a lot of the pattern papers from the kit I just wanted tons and tons of color I used a border punch from my stash to make that let me show you up close I did it on the bottom too. You can use any border punch for this. I drew some lines where I wanted this to go because I'm going to come in with Love Ocean number no. nine, part of the August kits, and I'm going to stencil in some waves. Yes, I am. How fun. Let me get this out of the way so I don't get any paint on it. This is an ancient border ruler from Creative Memories. I must have had this thing in my stash for the past 20 years. I'm going to put waves down here and up here. Can we see the bottom of this paper? We cannot. Okay, let me fix that. There we go. So I'm going to put some here and here. I'm just going to pour some of this liquid over to the side, the right hand side over here, just a little bit. I can always add more if I need more. And I'm going to use a blending brush. And the tip with that is just to make sure that your blending brush is not super saturated. I mean, you're going to want it to be wet, of course, but dip it in to the paint and then um, blend it around on your glass mat or your plastic, whatever you're using, so it's not super, super wet. And then I'm going to just go ahead and start at the ruler and come up and do these waves. And I'll show you the one in real time and then I'll speed this up just to make sure that the video is not too long and that's not gonna matter to me I forgot that that hole was there because I'll probably end up covering that up but then when I come up to the next one I'll just scooch it over a little bit and this is probably plenty wet enough you really don't need a lot on your blending brush because it's a liquid do that and then move this over to where I can get the rest of that just if you alternate your stencil or your ruler whatever you're using then it will give you different kinds of waves okay I don't think I need too too many on the top let me do one more down here just in case I'll scooch this over just in case there's some peeking because I'm going to use a lot of the papers and I fussy cut a lot of items from one of the pattern papers. Um, it's got really cool tropical beachy kind of things in it and stuff for the pool. So then there's a lot of white in there. I'm not going to want that. So I'm going to come in and very, very, very lightly fill in with the blue so it looks like all water. And I'm not trying to be perfect here. I want this to be all different and some parts, some white peeking through, some parts not, just so it looks like the ocean because the kids were on vacation down south and swimming in the ocean. There you go. How cool is that? And then you can just, if you think any of the marks don't look good, go back over them. And there you go. All right. So let's bring this in. See what it looks like it's cute it's pretty cute I'm gonna cover up some of the waves now, I'm not liking how the edges ended there so you just go back over and fix things okay but do it really light because you don't want to go over what you already just did okay so I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the bottom Okay, again, Love Ocean number nine, part of the August color kits. And if you do want to place an order with Shimmers Paints, don't forget to leave my name in the comment box of your order. You will get a free gift, which is typically one of these pods of paint, a different color. Every single time you can use my name. Okay, so there you go with that. I glued this down. 
Then I am going to take this really cool pattern paper that I cut out um, from one of the papers from this kit. Let me get my tweezers and just lift this up. And we glued right down the middle there. I can put some more glue in afterwards. I'm going to tuck this in to make it seem like they're right in the ocean, which is kind of cute. I'll have to cut that off a little bit down here because I don't want it to go too far. I want to tuck some things in there. And then I'm going to do the other one as well. Same exact thing, except going in a different direction. So, yeah. That is so cute. Let me get that in there straight because it's not right now. Hold on just a minute. Okay, there we go. Again, that one's really tall, so I'll have to cut that. Get that flush up against each side. Doesn't that look cute? Like they're in the water with the, you know, the seaweed and stuff, whatever that's called. I have all this ephemera. Some of it is from the embellishment pack. Some of it is fussy cut from the pattern papers. I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to glue underneath here. I'm not going to glue these down yet because I really want to um, mix in some items from this collection to make it look like they are... Oh, that's not straight. Okay, there we go. Like they are in the water. And these things are in the water with them. So there we go with that. And I'm going way in under here with my glue. Just to get this secure. And there we go. A little air bubble there. That should be good for now. I will secure it down really well after I am done. So this might take me a second because I'm not really sure where I want everything placed. There's my tweezers. I fussy cut some of these items from one of the pattern papers. Really cool flowers and some ephemera that I have. Okay, so let me think here. Let's put maybe one of these in here. Like this maybe. And again, I might move things around. I don't know yet. Um, put one maybe in here like this. Let me see how that's looking. Oh, it's cute. It's going to be very, very busy. Very vibrant. This seems like a bigger gap. Maybe I can get this pretty pink one in here. Let me see if that looks good. Not bad. All right. Um, what else do we have? I have one that was cut off from the edge, so I can just tuck that over in here so you'll never know. I like this. How many more do I have? I have one more. So I have two yellow down here. Perhaps I should put one up here, like so, or maybe facing this way. Let's see how it fits in there the best and how it looks the best. That's not bad either. Okay, this is all ephemera. I kind of want to use it. I've got seashells, and this is the only bright pink one I have so I cut it in half so I can put one up here and one down here um, I might not use all of these I don't know this is fussy cut from the pattern paper I was thinking about putting some on top like this and then maybe some mixed all up in here um, let's put one floating in the water <laughs> why not right and then we need one more of those, maybe over there. Oh my goodness, it's so tropical. I love it. All right, so just in the interest of using things, I really want to get these. Maybe I'll put one here, like half of it, just peeking out like that, just to get that color in. We do have that big pink one up there, so... 
I could put this one in here and have it peeking out, which you can't really see a ton of it right there. So maybe I'd want it to be there or, yeah, I want it to be there. Because then it's far enough away from this one. And I think with that pink one up there, we can put both of these down here on the bottom. I also have some of these. Again, I don't know if I want to use all of these, but we could try, right? Let's see about putting one of those in. Hmm. Don't love that. Let me try again. Maybe it's just the placement. Could be the color. Maybe I'll see if I can get this over here. And then that will cover up that it's cut in half. And I could put this bigger one in under here. I might like it better. Let me see. That's not bad. I like it tucked. Like it's in the ocean underneath things. Let's try this pink one because it's super pretty and I really want to use it. All right. I don't mind that. We'll put this back. I've got one more flower. <laughs> one more little flower maybe I can get that there well, that's not too bad not in love I think I'll move that I kind of I already have the orange one down there so I'm thinking maybe I can try to get this up here somewhere maybe if I sneak it in over here that's a little bit better all right, I have this one amazing piece of ephemera left, and there's a lot of free space in this corner, so I'm thinking about just putting it there to use it, and it's super beautiful, so I don't want to cover it up. I have some seashells. Can I stick a seashell? Also, look at this turtle, the sea turtle. It's amazing kind of want to put him somewhere so it looks like he's hanging out in the ocean and is going to be crawling on something. I keep getting this out of frame. I'm sorry. I have to find the perfect spot for him because I love him and I think he's beautiful. Maybe could be up like this. Maybe I'm tilting him too much, and that's why I don't like it. Let's put it like this way a little bit more. Well, that's not bad. It looks like he's in the water. Cute, cute seahorse. Not sure where I want him. And I have two fish. So I need something here. He's kind of big. Let's try this one. And I want him peeking like you know how they would be swimming behind the algae and tree uh, not trees but you know water plants anyways so I'm gonna make it look like he's swimming behind everything well that's cute okay I'm not sure about this maybe the seahorse needs to go on top oh that's cute with him peeking out like that so then I could have this little guy either peeking out here. I kind of didn't want him on the same level as that one. I make it look like he's a little bit higher. Here. Like this. So cute. But down a little bit more, I think. I want to make, make sure I can still see him because he's awful pretty. Okay. I can't get him straight, but you'll get the general idea. Everything is all glued down. I added my title, Tropical Vibes, um, with some alphas from my stash, not part of the kit. I put this little tropical bird in the middle of the two words. Super cute. Then I have these little um, clear gems. Aren't they cute? Um, where should I get these? I think I got these from Honeybee Stamps and not part of the kit also. I just thought that they kind of looked like bubbles 
you know, like from the fish and stuff. So look, I gave the seahorse little bubbles and I gave the little fishy bubbles. How cute is that? Where's the other one? There he is. I can't even, it's so cute. So I just sprinkled them around. Um, so yeah, making it look like bubbles all throughout. I covered up a lot of the waves, but I'm liking the blue that love, um, love ocean number nine is one of my favorite colors. I love it. This turtle is gorgeous. That piece of ephemera is gorgeous. And I think we're going to call this done, but in true shimmers fashion, I believe we need some splatters. Yes, we do. Um, I'm going to use um, Color Splash. Cover up my photos here. And Gold Digger. It is my favorite gold splatters ever. I don't want gold splatters on the fish's face. I absolutely love these splatters. They're perfect. If you need some gold splatters, I highly recommend this. I'm just going to, I don't want it on his face either. I'm just going to splatter it all around the entire top and bottom where all this beautiful ephemera and paper is. And I think I'm going to do it reasonably heavy, but little ones, not like big, huge ones. Okay, there's that. Now I'll scooch this to cover the photos and go all up here. Again, I don't want splatters on the seahorse's face. I don't want it on his face either. Don't mind if there's a couple on his back. Let me get my hand out of the way here. Alright, I think we're far enough away from them now. Get some over here, right on the flowers and everything. Just because it's totally awesome and the best gold ever. And there we go. We are done. This is definitely super busy, but it's very tropical feel and I think it's so cute. I'm loving these papers and the colors from this kit are spectacular with the papers and the color kits as well. So let me bring it in for you. I'll put close-ups at the end and everything is linked below in the description box and Again, don't forget to leave my name in your Shimmers Paints order so you can get some free paint with your purchase. If you have any questions about Shimmers Paints, let me know. There's paper, there's all different kinds of paints, there's beautiful sequins. Absolutely, I love the sequins from Shimmers Paints. And there you go. All right, thank you so much for stopping by to see me and spending some of your time with me. I really appreciate you, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.